Well, Betsy, no Miles Garrett, no problem for that ever-improving Browns defense, which still racked up five sacks in yesterday's 22-17 win over the Philadelphia Eagles. And now the Browns are 7-3. and three. And if you checked out the standings today, you saw that they are ahead of the Baltimore Ravens in the AFC North. It's been a while since we can say that this late in the season. The voice of the Browns, Jimmy Donovan, called it as always. He joins us now. Jimmy, 7-3 and three feels pretty good. Boy, it really does, Jay, and I have to tell you, the real sign that they are becoming a team, and this is really, truly a team, is that they win different ways week to week. So going into the game yesterday, real concern, no Miles Garrett, and remember when they didn't have Miles Garrett last year when he was suspended for the final six game of the season? Well, they were pathetic on defense, so... I think everybody was really cautious about going into that game yesterday. And lo and behold, the defense wins the game for them, and they beat the Philadelphia Eagles 22-17. They were all over Carson Wentz all afternoon long. Olivier Vernon played the game of his Browns career, three sacks, and one of them, that safety right there. And then, finally, the Browns got going offensively late in the second half. The running game, which had been stymied, through the first half. They only had 18 rushing yards through the first half. Finally got going. A big Nick Chubb run of 54 yards and then a high hurdle by Kareem Hunt. Memories of Bob Beeman in Mexico City setting the world record and Hunt scoring that touchdown and the Browns went on and won it but it was their defense that put the thumbprint on this one and they are indeed seven and three. And so on this day Take a gander at this. The playoff picture looks beautiful. Seven teams get in. And right now the Browns are in at seven and three. And remember, they take on a one-win team coming up Sunday in Jacksonville. One and nine Jaguars who have lost nine games in a row. But what about Miles Garrett? The news is today that he will not play this Sunday, this Sunday after he missed yesterday's game. He's been ruled out for the game against the Jaguars. According to the COVID rules in the NFL, a player who tests positive can't return to the team until at least 10 days after the first day that they have symptoms. So Kevin Stefanski said he is out again for this week, and the Browns will have to deal with that. Easier done, I think, against Jacksonville, but they cannot take this game lightly. One other note, Jay, coming in today that's of concern. Denzel Ward is complaining of a sore calf. I thought he played one of the great games I've seen a Browns defensive back play since Minifield and Dixon. Mm -hmm. That's the way Ward played yesterday with great play and a big interception late. Yeah. That's something to watch out for as the week goes on. Couldn't agree more. Ward, it was shades of Minifield for sure.